Hello. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley. And uh, today we're going to do some exercises and maybe some vocabulary exercises and maybe have a little discussion about crime. We're going to focus in on crime stories and do fill in the blank exercises where we will be looking at uh, using verbs perhaps related to crime perhaps not so directly uh, as we as we do this as we uh, do these exercises uh, please be aware that you're going to we're gonna have to be cognizant of we're going to have to think about the verb tenses okay uh, let me first start out by saying hello to Michael. Hey, Michael, how are you? Hello, Teacher Oakley. I'm not too bad. How are you? Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay. I'm also not too bad. No, I'm awesome, but I cannot yeah. say always I'm awesome. Huh? So I should you say something. Be. Theoretically, in theory, that's possible. <laughs> No, but no, to say, like, just to um, uh, practice other things, so I should say, to like, mix I'm, it up. Mix it up a little, yeah. okay. I'm a little under the weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, nice to have you in the class. Thanks for Thank joining. Uh, Jesus. Hello, Jesus. Welcome Hello, to the Hello, good morning. Good, good morning. Oh, is it morning where you are? Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Uh, all right, nice to have you aboard. <laughs> I'm look. I'm looking at your picture. Is that on a ship? Am I guessing Sorry. correctly? Your your uh, Google avatar, your picture with you in a chair. Looks like you're in a deck chair. Uh, a deck I listen, chair. I listen a little down. A little down, right? Uh. Okay, I, your picture looks like you're in a deck chair. A deck chair is the kind of chair you have on a ship. And you have a dog in your lap. Uh, yes, he's a, he's a daunting, uh, haunting dog. Okay, is the picture taken on a ship? In my rough, to, mm, rough top. Rough. I don't know the that. Top, uh, the top in, uh, in the house. Uh, oh, okay. Rooftop. 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 Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, I tried to type something, and for some reason, the verbling chat has not been working today. So, all students, we I will be using, and you can use, the uh, Google chat box, the blue square in the top over here. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, thanks. Rooftop. Okay. <laughs> Let me try out the Google chat. Rooftop. Okay, very good. Rooftop. Excellent. Okay, I thought you were. I thought you were. It looked like you were on a ship because of the chair. Anyway. Okay. Uh, uh, welcome to the class, Ismail. Nice to see you again. Thank you. How are you today? Thank you, Audrey. I am fine. How are you? <laughs> good. Uh, excellent. Uh, welcome, Carmen. Good morning, Carmen. Uh, good morning, Oakley. Good morning to everybody. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, Ru, Ru, Rui? Rui? Rui. Rui. Rui? Hello. Rui? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Rui. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Uh, I'm, I'm great. Thank you. Uh, Rui, where are you from? Portugal. Portugal. Okay, excellent. Welcome to the class. Nice to Thank meet you. you very much. Uh, okay, lady and gentlemen, let's get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> there is only one of you. Uh, okay, let's get to it. We're gonna actually what we're doing is basically working on verbs today, vocabulary, but concentrating on verbs. We as usual in my class, we sometimes drift off topic, but our, our basic topic is crime and crime stories, so don't be surprised if we 
end up doing a little conversation class along with it. Uh, but let's take a look at an exercise. Very, do a screen share here. Okay. Uh, what we're looking at is a simple fill-in-the-blank exercise uh, telling a short story about a crime. Okay. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is we'll just take turns. Now, if you notice here, possible answers are down here in parentheses, different verbs, right, for each section here. Uh, keep in mind, as you fill in the blank, you may need to change the verb tense or you may need to concern yourself with subject-verb agreement, uh, as in singular, um, okay, uh, he walks, they walk, okay, singular, he, she, it, walks with an S or plural they walk. So you have to keep that in mind as we try this out. Uh, okay Michael I'm gonna just go ahead and start with you since you were first in the class. Uh, please begin. Um, let's see. I guess let's see well these are awfully long sentences so okay just try number one I guess. Rolf, Rolf uh, Horn, a 40-year-old Norwegian bank robber, ran away with uh, 3,000 lire. What, what is the currency? I forgot. I think these pounds. are pounds. Pounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pounds in February 1993. Okay. Very good. You can stop there at the comma. Excellent. Uh, okay, he ran away. All but, right. But I thought you had, you had to use the verb start below. Sorry, you do. I thought you and, had to. And here it is, run away. Oh gosh, I just forgot because I thought it was it. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, okay, run away works there. Okay, fine. Uh, Jesus, you try the next yes. part here. Okay, from here, but the police. But the police. Uh, fo followed. Something. Uh, but, the, but the police uh, uh, followed, followed him two hours later when he right okay Tri well, he tried okay uh, stop right there if you wouldn't mind Jesus yes. the police followed him two hours later uh, okay grammatically I'm with you on that it is possible you know uh, in content it is definitely possible that they may have followed him uh, two hours later but I think as we continue to read on, maybe they did more than just follow him. Um, maybe they caught him. Do you, do you know the word here that that means when the police catch you? Mm, I don't know. Informal way to say. More to formal catch. way. Thank yeah. you. Right. So instead of caught, a more formal verb. Invest. <laughs> Invest. <laughs> uh, is Ismail, can you help out Jose here? What do the police arrest. do? The police arrested him two hours later. Yeah, okay. When they put the handcuffs on you and stuff you into the car, <laughs> you have been arrested. Okay. Um... Thank you, Ismail. Uh, Jesus, have you ever been arrested? No, don't answer that. Never mind. I should yes, ask. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, uh, you don't have to answer that, you know. I'm only, I'm only kidding. 
Never mind. All right, the police arrested him two hours later when he tried, you had that one right, to blank an account at the same bank. I Ismail, can you continue? Try to open an account at the same bank in Oslo, Norway. Okay. Uh, Ismail, have you ever opened an account at a bank? No, don't answer that. Not yes, sure. many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it's kidding. not secret. <laughs> it's okay. not a secret. Okay. That's okay. We can, all right, we can divulge that information. All right. You divulge information. You, uh... You give up secret information, okay? All right. We're allowed to divulge that information. Okay, in Oslo, Norway. Uh, okay, let's continue with the story. Uh, Carmen, can you pick it up with the second paragraph? Okay. Wilhelmina Erden, a teller at the bank, said, I couldn't. I couldn't believe my eyes when the same guy walked into the bank again and asked to uh, to dang, put dang. the money he had stolen that morning. Okay, wait a know. minute here. We're gonna have to. Well, let's have some help here with the, the back end of the sentence. All right, the last part. Here's another English expression. The back end of the sentence. Okay, let's take a look at this. Wilhelmina, great name, by the way. A teller at the bank said, I couldn't believe my eyes, a very common English expression. I don't believe my eyes. We use this expression when we're shocked. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe my eyes. Or I don't believe my eyes. Okay, when the same man, Rolf Horn here, uh, when the same guy, what did he do? Walked into the, walked into the no, oh, that's walked right. Into the bank. Sure, he walked into the bank again and asked to deposit. Ah, uh, uh, okay, deposit the money. Okay, Carmen, have you ever deposited money into the bank? No, don't answer Why? that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Chat. <laughs> you asked okay. two personal questions. <laughs> I know. It's, I'm a horrible, horrible man. I'm, yes, I'm too intrusive. Oh, look, there's another English word we can learn. No, it's, we're not only learning verbs. I'm, I'm throwing in. Uh, can I uh, send you my, um, uh, uh, my uh, uh, so a scan of my bank account? <laughs> yeah. On your sure. Facebook. And everybody, okay. before we leave the Verbling class, I would like your Visa or MasterCard credit card numbers with expiration date. In number. Yeah. Expiration oh, date. Expiration. And CCV. 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 Yeah. Is it CCV or CVV? CVV. I don't remember. Let me look up. I think it's CVV. Yeah, yeah look at your card right now. <laughs> so the number is right. And Five, just three, so, zero, eight, just one, seven. <laughs> can you prove it? Can you can you hold that up to the camera for just yeah, one I moment? Opened the yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Class is getting rapidly out of control. All right. All right. This the same guy walked into the bank again and asked to deposit the money. All right. Now we have a problem. He blank that morning. Uh, I said he had stolen. No. Well. Yes, but that's not quite complete. Okay, here we have a problem. Okay, he walked back into the banks, but uh, he asked to, at that time, while well, this is an infinitive, to deposit the money. He Something that morning, that morning happened Get. in the past. Wait, wait. That Still. morning, that morning happened in the past. It's an action. There's two actions in the sentence. And one of them happened that morning, earlier. So what verb tense do we need here? Simple past? No. We have two past actions, but they happened at different times. One happened before the other. We need past perfect tense. 
Okay, so he asked to deposit the money he had stolen. But that's what I said. (laughs) It is? Oh, I'm sorry. I said had stolen. (laughs) Oh, okay. okay. Maybe a failure to communicate. Maybe I did not hear the had. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. (laughs) Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, apologies. I just, I didn't hear the had. Okay. Anyway... For those who don't know, like you do, Carmen, uh, had and the past participle, had stolen is the past perfect, and that's why we use it, because two actions in the past, one before the other. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rui. Rui from Portugal. Okay. Let's continue the story. He, blank police later. He police later that he okay he which word Op- open ah no it's different cell um, s- he sold. Stell. Stell. Stole. Stole. Uh, wait. Wait. First, number nine here. He's something police later. What did he do to or at or with the police? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe he. He. Uh, Get is get no he no no I don't know okay uh, okay. okay all right he, he did something to the police later what what would make sense he was police later <laughs> no later okay first of all we know it's going to be past tense uh, okay this happened in the past. He believed police later? No, probably not. Okay, probably told. Tell, past tense. Okay? Rui, he told police later. Okay. All right. That he blank afraid. All right. All right. He something afraid. Well, we don't have an actual object here. Just an adjective, a uh, feeling. So, okay, Roy, uh, if I'm going to use an adjective to describe myself, I might say, I am crazy. I am annoying. <laughs> I am silly. Okay. There you go. What do you need here? It, um, br- um, bro, um, brought, bro, the that the brought a feather of. Well, do you know a f- Roy? Do you know afraid? Mm. Meaning. Wet, uh, wet, wet, afraid, no. Afraid? Okay, Roy, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready, Roy? Okay, hang on. Yeah. Ready, Roy? Boo! <laughs> are you afraid? <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Scared. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Afraid. Okay. So that's a feeling. Okay. So I am crazy. He was afraid. All right. He was afraid. Mm-hmm. Okay. So because. All right. We're talking about a feeling or. All right. Not really. With just an adjective. He was afraid. Uh, okay, Michael, I'm going to bring it back to you. 
He told police later that he was afraid. He was afraid of being robbed and 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 wanted to okay right put it somewhere safe okay very good he wanted to put it somewhere yeah. safe it of course is what my money the money which he had stolen earlier in the day yeah. okay so this guy's clearly not a genius all right so to summarize what is the story here uh, let's see let's Jesus yes. if you're paying attention what happened in this story um. why is this story amazing crazy mm, sort of Ruf ran away with three thousand pounds. Uh -huh. The police are read we are the arrest him uh, when he tried to escape. Well, not really. They didn't catch him escaping. Actually, no. Uh Ishmael, how did they catch him? Yes. How did they catch Ralph? The only uh, he robbed uh, a bank in Norway, and after two hours later, he came back ba uh, back to same bank and uh, tried to uh, deposit the uh, stolen money because right. he's afraid of uh, being robbed uh, from uh, another uh, robber. Exactly. All right, that's the key. He went back to the same... Okay, and uh, Ismail? The same bank, because we know exactly which bank. Notice the. At the same bank, so we know which specific one bank it was. So we need the article the. That's exactly right. So... The darn fool went back to the same bank he robbed to deposit money. <laughs> okay. Why was he not afraid of bank robbers? I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's start over. Uh, Carmen, can you start this one off? Lapura Ma Fupu Molatudi, age 55. Uh, what's a sleep? Okay, very good. A, a sleep is like an adjective. Right, so here we go, the same idea again. Okay, very good. In a hostel north of jo Johannesburg, South Africa, in February 1996, when a robber uh, tried to open his mouth and okay and <laughs> and uh, steal his false teeth. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. He tried to, but wait, you, for, you forgot this one. He tried to something open his mouth. Ah. Okay, when a robot tried to um, try to force to force open his mouth and uh, and steal his false teeth. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. An infamous false teeth thief. Okay. Common collocation. What do you want the false teeth for? I mean, I, I don't don't get it. No. Let's <laughs> read it. on. Let's see if we can figure that out. Okay, force open. Okay, use strength to open something. You force it open. Common co-location. Let's see if we can figure out why. Why, oh, why? Rui. Okay. Rui? Yep. All right, try reading this. From here. Not... Not... 
is not to bring more Not okay. Not surprisingly. Uh, okay. Not surprisingly. Not a surprise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Molatudi. Moluti. Moluti. Okay. Uh, what did he do? Someone's in his mouth, forcing his teeth out. <laughs> Not surprising. What do you think he did? Hit. <laughs> well, maybe later. <laughs> yeah, but first. Is hit. A hit? hit. Oh, yeah, but not. But first, remember he was asleep. Okay. So before he, they can hit each other or anything. All right. He's asleep. So what does he have to do first? Uh, Tickle. The, 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 re the rest. <laughs> Yeah, arrest? No, that's, that's what the police do when they take you to jail. They arrest you. Uh, what What would he have to do first out of all these? Take, grab, get, eat, beat, tickle. Before you can hit somebody, wake up, maybe? Maybe it's wake up. Ah, yes. But, but the... Okay. Yes, he becomes awake first because he was asleep. But, Rui, uh, not surprisingly, Molotuti... Okay, we're telling a story in the past. What is past tense of wake up? Do you know? Wake. 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 Woke. 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 Uh, Yes. Okay. Uh, I wake up every day at eight o'clock. All right. That's present tense. All right. Wake. I woke up yesterday at nine o'clock. I was woken up. I was woken, or he had woken or waken. Ah. Here's one of these weird words, okay, that sometimes we have verbs, um, okay, this is an uh, irregular verb, we can't add ed to the verb to make past tense and the past participle. Uh, in this case, we have, present tense is wake, past tense is woke, and then uh, depending, it could be woken or waken in the past uh, participle. Okay, there are some verbs ha that have two past participle forms. Often it's be a British and American form. Sometimes they're used by both uh, British and American, but it may be different if it's, for example, a passive usage, or, um, for example, past perfect or something. He had woken up at seven in the morning. Um, uh, the, the man was woken by a screaming pig, for example. <laughs> Where do I think of that? Okay, Andrew, welcome to the class. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Hello. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, likewise. All right. Good to see you. Uh, okay, we're talking about a man who's having his false teeth stolen here. Uh, well, uh, Andrew, I'll let you settle in a little bit. I'll go to Michael here. Let's finish this story up. Okay, not surprisingly, Molotudi woke up. Next, Michael. By the thief, him with his fists. What, what is fists? Um, with the knuckles. Some, some, sometimes. Every time I try to remove the screen share, this is a fist. Buddy. Okay. 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 That's a fist. You close your hand. 
Uh, okay. So he what? Oh, oops. <laughs> what am I doing? Hang on. Oh, goodness. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. But the thief. What did he do? He says, um, Taco. Hey, wait, wait. We don't have. We don't have hit. What did you say? Tickle. He tickled him with his fist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tickle, tickle him to death. Beat, beat. beat him yeah. with his fist. Yeah. Yes. Tickle, of course, is the what you do to a small child to make them giggle uncontrollably. Laugh mm -hmm. and giggle. <laughs> okay, you tickle someone. Uh, Michael, are you ticklish? <laughs> no, I never. I never thought I could ask you this question in a realistic way. Uh, okay, ticklish, tickled him to death. Yes, death by tickling. It's a horrible way to go, Andrew. Okay. Uh, all right. In reality, okay. Um. Uh, Michael, go ahead. Continue. The thief beat him with his fist. Mm -hmm. Him by the throat, grab. Okay. Verb tense. Grabbed. Okay. Grabbed him by the throat and. His teeth, anyway. Um, get, got. Could be. Could be got his teeth anyway. Or could could be took his teeth anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. Either one doesn't matter actually. Uh, okay, Ismail. Let's continue the story. From the police later yeah. uh, arrested a suspect, but Molatudi never got his teeth back. Ah uh, yeah, got here. We need got. Okay. Uh, he never got his. Teeth back. This is a sad, really sad story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, something that is not mentioned here. Okay, Carmen, since you were the one who were at, was asking, why was someone stealing his false teeth? Can you think of a possible reason? All right. We, we, yeah. I don't know, perhaps he had none and he needed and he didn't have any money to buy some false teeth. That's why he just uh, stole those teeth. All right. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me throw this one out to the class. Uh, can anybody think of any realistic reason why someone would steal his false teeth? Andrew. Yep. I just through. put it. Yeah. Yes, they could, could be made it. of gold, probably. Yeah. Made out of gold. Yeah, maybe his false teeth are not just, you know, regular false teeth. Maybe they're made out of gold. Sure. Some people do have gold teeth. Yep. Who knows? I don't know. Nice, very logical. Okay. Dun -dun -dun -dun. New one. Here we go. New story. <laughs> okay. Uh, Andrew, I, I'm going to start with you on this one. A few years ago. Okay. A few years ago, Indonesian police, Indonesian police arrested a man in Jakarta for for selling magic pencil at two hundred twenty-five pounds each. Okay. Each. Very good. Okay. Hang on. I'll I'll hand this one off. Uh, okay, arrested a man in Jakarta for selling magic pencils. <laughs> Andrew, have you ever bought a magic pencil? No. <laughs> Not yet? <laughs> well, I've, it just so happens. No. I've got one yeah. right here in front of me. I, I just didn't have an opportunity to buy it. So if, oh, well, if, if I had, I would probably, I would probably do it. You, okay, well... <laughs> Oh. Today and today only, I will sell these magic pencils for 99 pounds each. 99 pounds only. I will actually, th that's not all you get. 
I will throw in a magic pencil sharpener. For free! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely okay. fantastic. Okay. Uh, I don't know what a magic pen is. Okay, that's why what we need... That? Let's Maybe. see if we... Let's Just see if we can, wonders or something? <laughs> uh, let's see if we can figure it out. Let's read on here. Rui. Okay, okay. Okay, Rui. Uh, here we go. Uh, all right. The Indonesian police arrested... Indonesian, sorry, police arrested a man in Jakarta for selling magic pencils at 225 pounds each. All right, Rui. We would he um which he uh, which he uh, cash walled up out automatically. Okay. Mm. What's a word here that means to say? Actually there's claim, two claim. It's claim. He claimed. He claimed. Claimed. Uh, Claim. Or possibly, you know, possibly correct here, uh, all of you, might be suggest. He okay. suggested. Uh, Claimed suggest. is probably better because cl usually uh, a claim in English is more likely to be uh, negative or be false. All right? A suggestion or to suggest something is quite neutral. It can be ne wrong. It can be negative. I can suggest something which is not true to you, or I can make a, a, a valid, good piece of advice and suggest some advice to you. Claim is uh, very often negative, so I think you're right. He claimed would automatically zip, correct answers to university entrance exams. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Roy. He claimed, okay, he says that these magic pencils would automatically something correct answers. What do you think? Understand correct answers? Suggest? Mm -hmm. So, produce correct answers? Just suggest this correct answer is to universe Do you think? Not maybe, so sure. No, maybe suggest, no? Suggest correct. Maybe, uh, okay. Uh, All right, possibly the pencils suggest a correct answer, but my little pencils yeah. never suggested anything. Yeah. But maybe, uh, Carmen, you think produce? Mm -hmm. Maybe produced. I agree. Suggest possibly. Uh, okay, in a magical kind of way. After all, they are magic pencils. They could magically suggest something. Or they would automatically produce correct answers to university entrance exams. Wow, terrific. See, I'm not going to any longer, no longer will I teach TOEFL or IELTS or TOEIC. I will just <laughs> simply sell magic pencils. It's much easier. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, welcome to the class, Ahmad. Hello, Ahmad. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? All right. Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, Ahmad, yes. um, we we're just doing a simple fill-in-the-blank exercise here. So, since you just uh, arrived, the possible answers are down here in parentheses. I, uh, they appear in italics. Okay, okay. Okay, so can you start reading from they? Well, they blank about uh, 2600. I don't know how to do <laughs> yeah. it. Is it right? 2600? Yes. 2600? Okay. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, bound from cells of the pencils. Okay. Uh, they, 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 they sold. No, they claimed uh, Okay. Shall I use uh, the words uh, on the top or down? Uh, down. 
on the bottom. Down. Oh, sorry, I went down. Ah, yeah. Okay. First of all, we have to. It's very important yeah. we figure out who they is. Well, there's only one they. Up in the first the, paragraph. There were. Were? Oh, uh, yeah. You do have to be. But that would be there were. Yeah. Well. Who who is they here? Ahmad. They. <laughs> Refer I know you came in in the middle here, but yeah. looking at the first paragraph, who would they have to be? Uh, it's supposed to be pencils. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I uh, don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. They can't be the pencils or something about 2,600 from the sales of the pencils because the pencils are in the last part of the sentence. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. Okay, well, uh, looking up here, I, I would suggest it would probably be the police. The police is they. Otherwise, we have a um, man in Jakarta who is singular. So the pronoun must refer to the police. So the police, or they, something, about 2,600. Okay, uh, you said 2,600. Yeah. You, you can say 2,600. Actually, that's probably more common in English to say it that way. Or you, it's also perfectly acceptable to say 2,600. I, I was about to ask that because I would say 2,600. So, yeah, it's okay. So what, how is the, 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 the other thing you said, 2,600? 20, 2,600, yes. Uh, okay. Very mm -hmm. common as well. But either is correct. Uh, okay, so the police... Uh, Ahmad, I haven't given up on you here. The yeah. The police blank about 2,600 pounds from sales of the pencils. I don't know. Uh, took, probably. Took. Took. The police take money. Police don't take money, do they, Ahmad? I've, I've never heard of such a thing. I, I, I don't know. Probably <laughs> they took <laughs> fine penalties. Of I, I can't complain. believe that. And really? Do police take money? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Take money. <laughs> okay, all right. What's that, Carmen? Confiscate. Confiscate. Okay, the verb confiscate. If what did you, it mean? all right, let's let's see if I can so give you a good example. If you're a student in school, and you bring your cell phone to school, and you're playing games, sitting at your desk, your teacher may confiscate your smartphone until after the class okay the police confiscate evidence for the trial for the court trial so they take it and hold it okay so you you're not far off when you said took yes confiscate means took but took to hold for a purpose or a trial, or till after class, or uh, you might confiscate a chocolate bar from your child until she got home so she didn't get chocolate all over her face and hands and clothes while you were out in the mall. Okay, so you hold it for a while. Uh, okay, uh, Michael, I'm going to go back to you. They confiscated its past tense, again a story from the past, they confiscated the money from the sale of the pencils. Which uh, on sale for almost a whole year. <laughs> which, um, uh, said, hmm. oh. um, which be in past tense. Uh, yes. Like, uh, have been on sale for almost, had been. Ta-da! Nice job, Michael. Yes, past perfect tense again. Which had been on sale for almost a whole year. Because that action obviously happened before the confiscation happened. Yeah. Yes. Confiscate. Confiscation is the noun form. Okay. That's right. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, let's keep rolling here. Ismail, next sentence. 
The man told the police that the pencil were equipped with copper wire and electronic signals which will get the computers that were used for hmm I'm not sure about that first is right definitely the man told the police all right this rules okay the pencils the pencils would something the computers. This one. Connecting something like this. Ugly. Uh. What did you communicating, say? Communicating. Communicating with computer. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, you're on the right track. You. I think you've got the right idea. But choosing from these words. Uh, okay, which one is a word that may mean communicating? You, you, you got the right idea because the pencil is communicating somehow with the computers. But okay, there are different words here that can mean communicate. Work. Worked the computers. I think confused. Yeah. Oh, confused is a way of communicating. It's communicating so as to give wrong information. Yeah. It's like fool the computers, no? Right, exactly. Complain is also, but they're not going to complain the computers. That that doesn't make sense. So, confuse. All right, how about that? Which would confuse the computers, all right, that were used for something the exams. Carmen, what? We confuse the computers that were used for... Uh, Mark. Mark the exams. Okay. And what form do we need this? We have preposition marking. for. Marking. Sorry, so for marking. Uh, it is correct. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. That is correct. We're going to use the gerund form for marking. Uh, excellent. Uh, yes. Uh, we have to choose, because we have four, definitely we're going to use the ing form. Okay. Very good. It would confuse the computers that were used for marking the exams and would... Ahmad, back to you, and would blank wrong answers. You know, uh, tell... would tell wrong answers? Uh, okay, the, correct. The pencils would... This is a long sentence, okay? When we have long sentences like this, one way to look at it to get better understanding is to eliminate any extra information and just look at the most basic subject verb object. For example, the man told police the pencils would confuse the computers and would blank wrong answers. Ah, what to get? Well, we, we, don't, we don't want the students to get wrong answers, mm -hmm. do we? I they, would be, they would be horrible magic pencils <laughs> 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 if they would get wrong answers. They would fool the computers or confuse the computers, and would something wrong answers. What would the students want to do with wrong answers? Obviously. You turn wrong into right. That's correct. Ah ha ha. Okay. All right, I gave it away. And would correct, correct. wrong answers. All right? They would conf magic pencil would confuse the computers that were used for marking, gore, uh, grading or scoring the exams and would correct wrong answers. Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, Rui, back to you. From here. The, does of students? Uh, 
uh, and the uh, magic did uh, okay well uh, what yeah what what did the students do when the magic wasn't magic <laughs> <laughs> What would you do, Roy, if you bought a magic pencil and it didn't work? <laughs> I put the bin. Complain. Ah, yeah. Complain. They beg, maybe. Complain, beg, <laughs> yeah. Probably complain. complain. Dozens of students complain. Oh, my magic pencil doesn't work. All right. <laughs> when complain. the magic didn't work for them. Oh, so sad. <laughs> they complain to the police. Roy, if you bought a magic pencil, would you complain to the police? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <Or> what? <laughs> Me neither. That would be slightly embarrassing, possibly. That's it. Slightly. I would be of myself. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to the police. My magic beans aren't growing. Why? <laughs> I think it's a fraud, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, last story. Michael. When Patricia, Patricia awoke in of Westbury on trim, nice. um, took her Ford Fiesta car for sale. No. No? You wouldn't take a car for sale. You could put a car on sale, mm. put a car up for sale, sure. Advertise? Ah, uh, there you go. Why not? And telling a story that happened in the past, so... Advertised. Okay, advertised for Ford Fiesta car for sale. All right, uh, one more, Michael, here. David Bryce or Bryce? Bryce, Bryce? Probably Bryce. Bryce. I don't know for certain. 28, like the perfect buyer. Seemed. Very good. He seemed like the perfect buyer. He looked like the perfect buyer. Uh, okay. Very good. Uh, Ismail, let's continue. He. Something with his grandmother. He turned up with his grandmother and. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yes. That's correct. With his grandmother and. Again, first, the past tense, turned up. It's a phrasal verb, but phrasal verbs act the same way normal verbs act. So, turn, turned. He turned up with his grandmother and something, the old lady, with Mrs. Wakeland. The old lady is his grandmother. Okay. <laughs> Leave the old lady with Miss Wakelin while he. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Y yes. Deported the car for a test drive. Uh, okay. All right. Um, take take took the car for a test drive. Took the car for a test drive would be better. Yes. Right. Could be departed, but it could it would be departed with. Mm -hmm. All right, he departed with the car for a test drive. That's possible, but we don't have with. All right, uh, he okay. He turned up yes with his grandmother and not leave, but past tense. Ishmael. 
What's the past tense of leave? Leave, lived, with leave. Mm -hmm. Nice try. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's the easy but, way out. <laughs> no, that's the most logical answer. But actually, left. left yeah, left. it's it. Ah, yeah, it's, it's an irregular <laughs> verb. That's right. Yes. So left. You got it. All right. He left the old lady with Mrs. Wakelin while he took the car for a test drive, and then, Carmen? Unfortunately, that was the last. She stole off both him and her car. The old lady uh, turned out not to be his granny at all, but someone who um, lived in an old people's home in Benminster, and who were clean, um, ended up, I don't know, to take for a drive. Offered, sorry, uh, offered to take great. for a drive. Very good. So he just picked up some old lady at the rest home, at the <laughs> uh, old people's home. You might hear old folks' home, uh, elderly care home. All right. Uh, okay, and took her, <laughs> took her for a drive, which seems awfully a lot like kidnapping to me, which might yeah. seem to be the worst crime, but hey, that's just me. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm on. See if you can see if you can end this for us. In the end, Bryce was sentenced to two years. Very good. Yes. In prison. In prison for the car theft and a number of other contracts, he uh -huh. mm, he confessed to no right he, yes I don't know confessed to you got it okay uh, okay. <laughs> okay in the end uh, Bryce what what did he say uh, what what did he was, was sentenced okay was sentenced. Okay, that's correct. All right. All right. I was thinking maybe sent to. He was sent to two years in prison, but that doesn't work. He was sent to prison for two years if we use sent. Sent is possible. We have to change sentence structure. He was sent to prison for two years. Okay, so he was sentenced to two years in prison. In a, a judge sentences a criminal to do his punishment. You're sentenced for two years in prison. You're sentenced to pay $500. Uh, you're sentenced to do community service. That's your punishment. Okay. And a number, another, uh, number of other contracts. What's a contract? What does that mean? Do you know anybody? What's a contract? Con. Scam. Yeah, what's a scam? Okay, a, a con, a scam, fraud. Basically, most types of fraud are a con or a contract that he confessed to. If you confess, you tell about something bad that you did. You confess to a crime. You confess to an extramarital affair. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you confess you didn't do your homework. Okay, all of those things. Uh, okay, very good, which actually... Bring joining me for checking out those ridiculous crime stories with me. Thank you very much, but we're out of no, time. No, that so. was good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, all. See you later.